Welcome everyone to another video. Today we will be testing Windows Defender, which we have not yet done this year. And I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware, 144 samples in total. And we will be using these samples to test how well Windows Defender does as far as protecting us against these specific threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable the real-time protection. We will let it sit for just a few moments to see if it can detect anything on its own, after which we will run a full system scan. If there's any samples remaining, we will scan the samples folder directly. If there's any samples remaining after that, we will try to execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them. At this point, we do have everything enabled and turned on as far as the real-time protection. And so before we proceed, let's just double check to make sure that we are up to date. And now that we are enabled and up to date, we'll go ahead and let Windows Defender sit for just a few moments and we will see if it detects anything on its own. All right, so far nothing's popped up. I don't believe anything's been removed from our samples folder or possibly it still shows 144. So at this point, let's go ahead and run a full system scan. And it looks like it actually has made some detections. So we will go ahead and click on start actions. It looks like several results have been detected. And so let's check our samples folder. We are down to 114. So at this point, run a full system scan and we'll go ahead and get this started. Let's scan now. And we'll go ahead and let this run until it's fully completed, after which we will be back with the results. All right, the scan has completed. We'll go ahead and click on start actions. All right, and now that we've taken actions, let's double check our samples folder. It looks like we have 15 remaining. And so at this point, let's go ahead and scan the samples folder directly. And it looks like it found some more. So we're going to go ahead and click on start actions. Let's go ahead and check our samples folder again. And we are down to seven items. Let's try scanning it just one more time just to give it one last chance. We'll go ahead and start that now. And we will start actions again. I gave it some extra time to finish taking action. Let's double check our samples folder again. We still have six items remaining. So at this point, let's go ahead and execute the remaining samples. After execution, we are now down to three samples. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and restart the computer and then run some second opinion scans. After a computer restart, I ran malware bytes and it came back positive with six results. So we'll go ahead and quarantine these. After another computer restart, I ran another scan with MZSoft, which came back clean with zero results detected. Now, please be aware that the second opinion scans also missed these two items. So even though Windows Defender missed them, Malwarebytes and MZSoft missed them as well. Additionally, there were six results removed by Malwarebytes, and you did notice earlier that depending on whether I did a direct scan or a full system scan, determined different results as far as detection for Windows Defender. Please be aware that there are many different types of tests. This is just one type of test, and so Windows Defender very well may perform differently in other types of tests. But you can take all of this and come to your own conclusions, but that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.